Hey guys, it is me, Eminem Show of Years, and today in this video we'll be talking about why Infinite Chain Book 4 is my least favorite book. And before you guys go and spam in the comments saying, why do you hate this book, or something like that, think, saying reasons without me even listening to, I'm gonna go on to the video, and I feel like you guys might explain, you might, uh, recognize too. Before, this will be, uh, spoilers will be containing for every single book, book 1, 2, 3, and 4, and even possibly book 5, talking about the full entire story, why I think that's gonna be the best one too, but also, um, even though Book 5 is already going to come out, it's still cancelled, just the idea that there's still been stuff revealed, but yeah guys, without further ado, let's hop on, and remember this is all my opinions, and you guys have your opinions, you guys' opinion matters, and this is just my opinion, so please don't take this heavily, so without further ado, let's just hop in on with the very first thing is that I feel like the reason why I love Book 1. Book 1 is this is really the first thing, this one would have been like my boringest book. But I think it would have been my second boringest book, but no, it's one of my most top tier books. One thing is also Infinite Chain is my favorite show of all time. I have live action, series, show, anything. Infinite Chain is my most favorite series of all time. And that's saying something I watched Amphibia. I watched Our House. I watched Gravity Falls. I watched lots of really great shows. Like also Manifest and I don't know, there's a whole bunch of great shows I watched that Infinite Chain was able to dominate, so that says something, right? Book one is about a girl, Tulip, and going on a mystery train. The thing is that this is book one. We don't know anything about the train. It was a mystery. Her meeting one one, wondering why one one trying to find her, her mom. It's a robot. Then meeting Atticus. It's just so the book one was so mystery. We didn't know anything. We didn't know about the stories. We didn't know about the glowing balls. We didn't know what number was. We didn't know why people got sucked up. We didn't know the conductor was a girl. We did not know anything about that. We didn't know that one one was a true conductor. We did not know any of that. So the Big mystery really kept it going, making book one like my second favorite, or maybe even first favorite. But when we go on book two, the reason why book two is also really great and not the worst because it's a very first story, also showing about um, it's about a what's it called what are they called again? I almost forgot. I haven't watched it in a long time. Uh, what are they called? The gnome gnomes or gnolls? I think that's what they call it. No, the gnolls. I don't know what they call them. I forgot the names. But anyways, it's about the, you know, the, you know, it's about her. <laughs> I don't know her name. I know her name was Tulip from MT, Metal Tulip. I don't know. I know her name, but I forgot what they actually called her. But anyways, because it's about a story about a pat, a, a thing created on the train, I guess. I forgot the name, sorry. So it was about her and how she was trying to get a number, trying to escape, being chased by these metal dudes, the reflector dudes, I forgot the name, Sally. And it was just a really great book, because now you get to also see the inside. Oh, that's this book. But you also see the inside of the train for the first time, seeing 1-1, one, one, how he actually prints the numbers. It was like numbers going into the book, talking about how the... Uh, she was kind of sliver, that's what she was. So seeing a sliver or... A uh, train created thing actually leaving the train was so great. Seeing how the numbers are printed on, how the password has to get there. It's just a great book, too. Now, book three. What does book three have that's super special? Well, it's not even that much special, but it's really, really special because you can talk about the apex and now talking about numbers and how high they could go and how they could actually consume you and have your whole body consumed and covered in numbers. Every scene with Simon at the end. And just don't also those two relate to man. The story was even really great, even though that was to do with the whole train mystery thing. The whole time story was still seriously amazing. I love almost those stories maybe the most out of everyone else. But book four... Now, let's say about book four. Book four is still amazing because we get back in time. We get to see how the train gives you, uh, the, what's it called again? The little bell, her name. She, how she gives you uh, the gnolls. So they call gnolls officially. But she was using that to help them because, you know, you walk at a diner and it's a bell. It gives you, like, the animals around. I often call them animals. About you, based in your life thing. It's about the clothes, one one clothes. You see Amelia actually taking over that secretly. You see how the train was before Amelia took over. And also one one, his different personality. It's really great. You get to see lots of things about that, right? But, um, the reason why I didn't like it, really was mostly just because the whole entire story was just the story wasn't good. Everything else is good and I like I love I love book four. It's an amazing book. I binged in in three days. I tried to contain myself but I couldn't help it. The book was the series was so good. It's just that book four is my favorite out of all four books. It's just because really the story about Ming and Jing G I I I'm sorry. I'm super sorry. I haven't watched it in a long time. Sorry, I have, I watched it when it first came out and it'd been months after this so sorry if I messed up some of the characters' names. But it's just really about it, the thing is, it's about Dumbo's being sucked out because of their friendship goal. I feel like that's, first of all, I feel like it's a dumb reason to go on the chain. 
but um, it's still an okay reason, just the whole number thing and how the episodes were the winning chase, and it ended up both of them going home. It felt like a good among, I mean, not, not a good among us, a good infinite chain plot. It's just about them going down is kind of a weird reason. The episodes weren't as interesting. It was really, really interesting. I liked it, but there wasn't that much stuff going on, really, because it was supposed to be a calm book. Like he said, it's meant to be a calm book, not an interesting thriller book like the past three in Book Fire was supposed to be that, but, um, yeah, so, that's just my excuse. Tell me guys in the comments below. I still love Book 4. It's an amazing book. You said all mine. It was the least favorite. Tell me guys in the comments below. What's your least favorite book? And I'll see you all in the next video, guys.